Let's see if it fires up on the first try, because you know how these engine swapped trucks can be sometimes. Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Farming Simulator 22 Landowner RP, which is quickly turning into a uh, truck hoarder RP, more so than a landowner RP, because we haven't really worked on the land in a couple of episodes, other than clearing it out, and, well, you can clearly see where my priorities are, because I have this giant covered paved space to put all of my equipment and trucks, and then my house is still a shed. And I plan on changing that in the near future, so if you would like to see this shed turn into a house, um, please do make sure to hound me about it in the comments below, because I need some, um, I need some shed to house motivation. So, with all of that out of the way, we actually found, because I have this habit of, well, you know, constantly scrolling through my phone on Facebook Marketplace and finding deals on trucks that I probably shouldn't find, I found a restored, well, partially restored, modified 67 Power Wagon for sale, and long story short, I arranged a meetup with the dude that owns it, and I said, if this is everything you say it is, I'll buy it, because it's got a modern 5.9 Cummins in it, it's got, like, I mean, the Cummins itself is built, it's got a bigger turbo, it's tuned, it's on some insanely wide American Force wheels, it's in this really nice green color and everything, but I just want to make sure that it runs, and it's a little bit more of a show truck than it is a work truck, but I think as long as it can still pull a trailer around, it'll be able to fulfill whatever purposes we need it to fulfill. Now, we're gonna grab the, uh, 4500 HD for this, and this thing will probably Probably be fairly underworked in this because we're just gonna hook it up to a pull behind trailer nothing too crazy but we're gonna head on over to town where I think he's already waiting for us at the grocery store so we're a little late and I feel kind of bad about that but I mean usually I'm on time or early so I think I'll let it slide this once so let's go ahead and back it on up we'll get attached to the trailer I do love this trailer though this trailer has probably gotten more dedicated use than just about any other trailer in this entire, like, or I should say on this entire property, really, because it's just so practical. Like, you can haul a bobcat with this, you can haul another truck with this, you can haul a small to medium-sized tractor with this, you could probably haul a mini excavator as well. I don't think I would go anything bigger than, like, a medium-sized tractor or maybe a mini excavator, but, you know, when you get to anything bigger than that, that's why I have that 40-foot, uh, you know, PJ Trailers gooseneck. But that one, I don't really find myself using it as much as I thought I would because this thing is so easy to just hook right up to and, like, honestly just take off. So, let's make our way on into town. I'm kind of hauling here. I think the speed limit's about, what, 40, 50? Yeah, it's like 50. And I was hauling at about 70 on the way in, and I'd really rather not have a ticket. So, there's the grocery store, and I think... Oh, wait! I think I see the truck! Oh, that's awesome! All right, I know we're probably not supposed to have massive trailers in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and park the trailer somewhat out of the way-ish. I know there's people kind of walking around too, so I'm gonna try to not be a nuisance. Dude, that thing looks sick. As long as it runs as well as they said it would run, I am totally down to pick it up and take it back to the property. Although I feel like, excuse me y'all, excuse me, I didn't hit them. I just got a little bit extra closer. I'm gonna let y'all go by first. Oh, are you just gonna stand there? Can you not walk around? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Now they walked around. Alright, let me angle this way just a little bit. I'm gonna try to get out of the, kind of like the lane of traffic in this parking lot, because I don't want to be that dude that's like blocking the parking lot. I'm gonna put the trailer in the grass slightly, but that should be alright. So, we're gonna go ahead and shut the truck down, and we're gonna take a look at that power wagon and see if everything is as they said it was in the uh, in the Facebook Marketplace ad. So this thing looks insane, although I've got to say, I don't think these fenders are doing much. That offset is ridiculous. It almost looks like there's like a foot of spacer in between the hub and the wheel. Is that... Oh my god. Those fuel filters, I don't know if they're, like, wrapped in, like, a vinyl to make them look like Mountain Dew cans, or if they literally, like, cut the top off of a Mountain Dew can and put it over the fuel filters. These stacks are insane. Let me jump up in the bed here. 
These are absolutely enormous. Holy crap. Oh, wait, what? You said I could take it for a test drive. Hey, I mean, if you're down, I'm down. All right, I'll tell you what. We're gonna hop in it. We're gonna take it for a quick test drive. We're gonna see what this thing is actually like. Let's see if it fires up on the first try because you know how these engine swapped trucks can be sometimes. Okay, for a second there, it didn't want to start, but it did eventually crank up. All right, let's... Whoa! Dude, this thing, like, immediately starts moving. You give it, like, a tiny little bit of throttle, and it immediately goes. It's got a fairly decent hitch setup on it, too. So, as far as pulling, like, the pull behind, I could totally do that with this. Now, if we do decide to actually go through with the deal on this thing, I will be, like, putting it up on the trailer to tow it home. Not because it doesn't run, but because I'm not going to leave the Duramax down at the grocery store. Now, I feel like the best way to figure out how this thing runs and whether or not it runs well is to pull right onto the highway on this on-ramp up here and see if it actually gets up and goes. Come on, nice and easy. Are you, are you getting on the highway? You are getting on the highway. All right. I'm going to give them a little bit of room. Whoa! I don't know what the heck was going on with them there. All right. So I'm going to give them a little bit of room. And then we're going to roll into this thing and see what kind of speeds we can get out of it on this on-ramp. All right. God, it looks insane as well. Thing looks absolutely wild. I love that green paint job too. All right. Three, two, one. Full beans. That's full throttle. Takes a second to get up and going. And then once it gets moving and starts to really shift, yeah, no, it stays way up in the RPMs and never drops out of boost. I guess with that big turbo setup, it's probably, I don't know why you're slowing down. With that big turbo setup, it takes a, takes a minute to get the turbo spooled. But oh my god, once it gets spooled, it is nuts. It's 90 miles an hour. 95. 100. Holy. All right, we should probably. Oh my god. We should probably back out of that. This is, after all, the test drive. And I haven't, like, I haven't given him the cash for this thing yet. Oh my god. This thing is crazy. And once you actually get it up and moving on the highway, bro. This thing is absolutely nuts. All right, let's go ahead and take this exit because we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need to go ahead and pick this thing up. This thing is absolutely nuts. It's wild. I'm gonna slow down a bit for this off ramp. Holy crap! So what you're basically telling me is that it's a show truck that can also properly haul. It can absolutely haul all of the beans. Yeah, as soon as we get back to uh, back to the grocery store, I'm going to be like, yes, I want it. Yes, hand me the papers to sign. And yes, here's the cash. Yo, this thing is such an absolute maniac machine. Yeah, you can just chill out over there. I'm going to pass you. Yep, thanks. Sounds good to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know where I'm at. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm, oh, okay. Yep, this is the loop that just goes back onto the highway. Okay, never mind. Doofus moment. All right, I am going the way I thought it was going. I had to look at my GPS for a second. I was like, ah, uh, my dude? Where are you freaking going? God, it's so wide. It's so insanely wide. And that does make the steering a little washy, but I mean, having driven a couple of trucks with really, really, really wide wheels in real life, I can tell you that it does make the steering a little wandery, especially if you haven't upgraded your steering box, you haven't upgraded your steering links. Whoa, whoa, okay. If it gets out of shape, it can get a little nasty on you. We almost hit the guardrail and almost hit the traffic car. Let's really try to not make either one of those things happen. All right, so let's see. There's this exit, and that should take us, I would imagine... Back to town? I, I would I would imagine. If it doesn't take us back to town, I have no idea where it takes us. But, oh, wait. Oh, I think it takes us over to that roundabout. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I see the town. All right, so this is actually perfect. So we'll ease our way back through the... What is this? There's some random junk on the side of the road. I had no idea that that was there. I also have no idea why that's there. That's kind of strange. Let's turn it on in. God, once you turn the steering wheel past a certain degree, it really does start to get a little bit, like, finicky and kind of, like, hunts around for traction. And that can really get it, un like, unstuck and really start it sliding. All right, let's make sure we go nice and easy through town here. We don't really want to scare these people too much by blasting through all of these freaking crosswalks. Oh, there goes the train! God, that is so sick. Yep, we can get through there before they get to the crosswalk. Yep, no big deal. Oh, dude. All right. 
Well, we'll take it. We will absolutely take it. 100%. All right, we're going to shut this thing down. And thank you. Thank you. All right. Deal is finalized. And now, let me move this thing around. And I'm going to actually get it set up right over here in the grocery store parking lot. We're going to drop the ramps. And we're going to get the power wagon up on the trailer. Let me make sure I can make that turn. Sometimes these really wide, like, commercial tires can make your turning circle a little bit wider than you would like. All right, so let me go ahead and get those ramps folded down. Not bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave that truck running. And because we're just going to hop right back into it and head on home. So let's bring you up onto the trailer. Honestly, I should have let this thing run in too. God, all right. This is probably going to have to be the last... Uh, the last, like, truck purchase I make for a minute. I really need to get back to working on the land. Um, is this legitimately too wide for the trailer? Oh, my God. This might actually legitimately be too wide for the trailer. Oh, no. I did not think that through. Okay. We're all right. We're not all right. The second it gets off of that, like, off of that, uh, the fender... It just completely falls through. Um. Excuse me. Yeah, well, this went well. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess we're gonna have to either tow this thing with something else, or we're gonna have to drive it back and then come back and, I guess, have somebody drop us off to get the Chevy? Well, that was a weird turn of events. Uh, whoa, my dude. Why are you chilling out right there? Why in the heck are you chilling out right there? Can we not? All right, I'm going to let you pass by where I'm at. And then I'm going to just ease my way back. And uh, let me uh, let me hop out of this thing. I'm going to go shut the Chevy off because we're going to have to come back to get that. Because I didn't realize that the power wagon legitimately wasn't going to fit on the trailer. Like, I knew it was going to be wide. I didn't realize it was going to be genuinely too wide for my trailer. So we're going to bring this home. And then we're going to figure out a way to go and get... Uh, the Chevy that we unfortunately had to leave in town. I mean, it's one of those things where you never really expect it to be too wide for a trailer, but when it happens, it happens. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to get held up by a van going 20 in like a 50. That's great. Is there anybody coming? No, I'm sending it. Yep, excuse me. It does absolutely rip, though. I'm pretty sure... That between the 6.0 and the Chevy, this is probably the fastest truck I own now. And I don't think I need any trucks that are all that much faster than this. This is really fast. Really, really fast. And really torquey. Although I can still see the tire tracks from where I was in the Chevy. Yeah, this is probably the last truck we're going to buy. Um, Oh, dude, it, it was actually about to, like, slide around, like, when we first pulled in with it. That's hilarious. All right, now... Since we have this this uh, massive power wagon back at its new home, I'm thinking that's where it's going to chill for a moment until we figure out, like, what other ways we're going to use it on the property or use it for work. But now, all we got to do is figure out how we're going to go and get the Chevy. But that we will sort out either off camera or in a different episode. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.